We made it on the Lirin Blair slug. <laughs> Marlin is looking for her long lost father, Kokoe Makadato. Her mum, Diddy, lost contact with him over 37 years ago. Marlin has been a paraplegic from the age of 11. Her life is not easy. And stuck in a wheelchair since she was 11, she desperately wants to meet her father. Marlin reached out to the Lear and Blair slog to help find her father. On some money more purpose, you know, bang it out on money more, Amy, Papa. Okay. Should mention me, can I be Tom Brug? Who long, Amy, hung? Go, 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 go. We asked the local mayor, but he couldn't find him. Hello, this is Marawi Police Station. Mom, can you help us to find someone? Asa ka gikan. Isi mo nga mahal. Koko, maybe you can help us finding Marlene's father in Marawi. Sikat-sikat nga. Di anak ko, wapang inapos siya ng kita. We received a tip that he was on the island of Mindanao in the Philippines. So we had to catch the overnight ferry from Cebu to Mindanao. There, we will be traveling to the war-torn city of Marawi. In 2017, local militant group laid siege to this once beautiful city. And we are going there to try and find Marlin's father. Now we've arrived in Cagandiaro. We're about to proceed all the way to Marawi city. Hopefully, we'll find Marlin's father. We've got 48 hours. Now we've met some nice people on the ferry and they've offered to give us a lift to Iligan City. So we found our lift. This is Jed that we met at the uh, port of Cebu whilst we were waiting for the ferry to come to Cagandioro and they very kindly invited us in their car to head towards Iligan City. So thank you Jed, thank you so much. Filipino kindness on full display. Our special contact, Kokoi, a Muslim from Marawi, was due to be meeting us in Iligan City. Thank you so much for the lift, we appreciate it. No, no, for good people of course. So when we arrive in Iligan City, we're then going to catch the bus no. from... No, no more bus, van to Marawi. Ah, okay, so we're going to be catching the van from Iligan City to Marawi. How long yeah. does that take, Kuya? Uh, about 35 to 45 minutes. So Bob, you're in contact with Kokoi now? Yes, he's on his way to Iligan right now and meet us. To so, Marawi? Yeah, exactly. So that's what we're doing. And hopefully, we're gonna meet Marlene's father in Marawi. It's been six years since ISIS laid siege to Marawi. And even now, the Australian and American embassies still warn their citizens not to travel there. So they're refusing our gasoline money. <laughs> It looks like you bribed us on that one. Oh, 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 We were now approaching Iligan Bus Terminal. There were so many jeepneys just sitting there with so few people. Perhaps they were there because nobody wanted to travel to Marawi. And there he was, our guide, Kokoi. Hello, my name is Blair. I am Kokoi. Come in, come in. Bye guys, thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Did myself and Leah May fully understand what we were getting ourselves into? We were going to find out. Okay. Okay, we will wait for the other to fill up. To fill up oh, okay. No problem. I'll pray first, okay? As we boarded the van, the driver couldn't believe that he was seeing a white foreigner traveling to Marawi City. As I looked out of the window, I fully understood I was in this part of Muslim Mindanao. So, we're in the van. Kokoi's gone off for his afternoon prayer and we're at the Iligan van terminal waiting for it to fill up. 
and then we'll head to Marawi City. Kuya, how long does it take to going to Marawi? Marawi. 30 minutes. 30, 30 minutes, minutes. Yeah. and 150 pesos. Yeah. Our contact was back fresh from his afternoon prayer and was keen to show us what he had found on Marlin's father. So this is the national ID. This is the national ID that this was is posted in the page of the uh, Barangay yeah. Pagalamangatan. And, and it's unclaimed and then you Unclaimed your, and then, your then my wife, wife saw this Makadato he, he texted the secretary of the Barangay chairman Can you please send me the Where is his name? Oh there Makadato Makadato It was incredible to me that he had this information Was this Muslim man really helping us from the kindness of his heart? We were going to find out Keep watching the Lear and Blair slog that is the national ID. Right. So when we get the picture, he edited with the picture of my mm. There's a lot of uh, similarities you can see. Yeah. So when I arrived the uh, following day, I go directly to the mosque, Pagalamatan, looking for the chairman. I asked him about Pokoy. He said the, he was my uncle. He said, uh, and he said, yeah, has, he has mole. Um, yes, I'm just here. Right. Then, uh, can, can, can you please accompany me? Then we go to his house. First time I saw him, he said, this is the father. Wow. Oh. And then I talked to him, I said, can you remember a name, Didi? Yeah. He's uh, looking at you? Yeah, and then I... Is he shocked? Yes, and then uh, I show him the picture you sent me. A picture of, of Marlin's mother. When, no, yeah, Marlin. Marlin's mother when she's young. She's young. Didi. Yeah. Didi, Didi. They call him the, her Didi. This one. When he when he saw this picture, when I, I really I still remember. He said his head he was curled, curled. <laughs> really. He said, yeah. And then I said, you do you remember your daughter? Me, yes. Said, uh, is it true that uh, when um, uh, when uh, he gave birth after one year, one year he ran away? He said no, no, he didn't run away. He asked permission that they will go to his relative to head to their relative. Um, uh, relative. So thank you so far, Kokoi, for helping no. us <laughs> to find. I'm, I'm. It's my pleasure, mother. It's my pleasure. Like without you, we cannot find him. We can't. Uh, it is all uh, uh, last week. Somebody is guiding the yeah. Ziggy, we're off to Marawi to meet Marlin's father. Exciting and nervous at the same time. I want to see the reaction of Marlin. Yeah. Surprising thing, really, I love. Really, if uh, when they already, I want uh -oh. to see. I guess we just need to confirm for, for ourselves. So Kokoi was just telling me that when he met Marlin's father and the father confirmed he was, he knew Marlin and he was the father. Kokoi was saying he was getting a bit of a tear in his <laughs> eyes. You were very emotional. Because you've been looking for a couple of days, right? Only a couple of days. Two or four days. Four days. just couldn't let this girl Marlin down. This man Kokoi seemed believable. I was putting my faith into him that he would lead us to Marlin's father in Marawi. All of a sudden I was told to put the camera down by the driver. 
This was a big wake-up call for me. The armed forces of the Philippines are still patrolling Marawi City. Myself and Leah May looked at one another. Was this still going to be safe for us to continue? I was shocked at the amount of destruction that had occurred here in 2017. Having passed through Ground Zero, we were now approaching our contact safe house. The road was bumpy and there was a thunderstorm over ahead. I was getting looks from people who had never seen a white foreigner. As I got out of the tricycle, someone ushered to me to keep the camera low. Have you paid? Have you, have you paid that? Yeah. Okay. So this is my place. Oh, yes, sir. Hello. Hello. My own half on. Akosi Blair. Our contact Kokoi had assured my wife Leah May of our safety whilst we were there. So Kokoi is taking us now to Marlin's father's house. The kids were shouting to their parents to come out into the street. There was an Americano outside. So we're just a couple of minutes away now. Walked through the local barangay. Lots of stairs at myself, being a white foreigner. Lots of them have never seen a foreigner here in their parts before. Coming up the stairs. G'day Mrs Duck. And walking through the field now trying to find Marlin's father's house. Out of breath. Lake Lanao in the distance behind me. Hoping Kokoi Makadato is in the house so that we're gonna meet him and confirm if he is indeed Marlin's father. This is the culmination of two months of searching on behalf of Marlin who reached out to us on our YouTube channel asking us if we could please try to help her father who she's never seen never met I just need to turn off the camera just to make sure it's okay to film I'll come back on again when we've spoken fingers crossed Yeah, 
Is that okay? Okay to record? Mm. So, do you mind? It's okay to record? Yeah. We asked permission and they said okay. Hello, sir. My name happen Echo C. Blair. Blair. Echo C. Leia. Taga Cebu. Sir, we come from Cebu all the way to Mindanao to find you. I have book a case on the Ranja, Marapunjaran Cebu, a case on the Ranjas and Mindanao, and a suburb of Kato Nairaka. Marlin is contact us on our YouTube channel because we're finding lost fathers. As I promised Marlin, because she reach out to me saying help me find my father so I have to help Marlin. I'm watching another YouTube channel and his name is Harry Jagard and he has Sir Kokoi's contact number so my Asawa called Kokoi maybe one week ago to ask him to help us find you. And it was up to Liam May to find out if he was Marlin's father. Thank you, Leanne Blair, for visiting me. Hopefully, someone can help me to find my father. His name is Kokoy or Makoy Makadato. He lives in Sagyaran, Marawi. I am a grown man, but I was in tears watching this unfold. After two months of searching, we had found Marlin's father. We want to bring you to Kagandioro because it's too difficult, Mahira, it's too difficult for Marlin to come in here. It's so far uh, for her sitting down because she's in a wheelchair. So. Maybe the journey will take two to three hours. I am telling him, my friend, these guys, you two guys, came all the way from Cebu, only for this moment. No lunch, no merenda, no sleep. No stop. No stop. Because we want to find you. We discuss and we plan that tomorrow early morning. So we're gonna stay here in Marawi for one night, me and Blair. And then tomorrow early morning, we're leaving, going to Cagayan and reunite Kukoi Makadato and Marlene, his daughter, for 37 years. I, I, I can't understand my feeling to be honest, but this is like how many times like we did it reunion, but it still like gets me, you know? The feeling is, it, it makes emotional, like you don't know if you need to pee or something. <laughs> like, I feel like I am the daughter meeting my father for the first time, yeah, that's how I feel. Malin, your father's here. I'm just going up to greet them. <laughs> Guys, Malin's father's just arrived in the taxi. Let's go.